is uh, Fanny Aisha. I work with InPath uh, as an art educator. I've always been drawing every time since I'm a kid. I've been like doodling and sketching and drawing on every piece of paper I could find in school. I've been painting for I would say maybe 12 years. So I'm really grateful today that I'm, I will be able to uh, challenge you guys and and share a really simple, accessible activity that you guys can do from your, the comfort of your own. You know, we paint a lot about like nature, we paint a lot about the land and the preciousness uh, of the art, and sometimes in the process we don't always go outside to capture that. And, and I would like to start this challenge uh, by inviting everybody to do the process of your art for this specific challenge uh, and to go outside and to go inspire yourself from wherever you are, wherever environment you are and, and connect on life, like what is alive, what is beautiful around you, what gives you strength. So the challenge uh, that I'm gonna ask you to do is to make a watercolor that reflect a dominant symbol in it, a dominant um, element uh, that would give strength to you or strength to other people that is meaningful to you. I really want you to find this idea that is connected to you. Uh, so this is the little piece. Uh, I'm gonna show a close-up of it. And then uh, all this video, I'm gonna guide you uh, just some little step. It's gonna be really simple uh, to make your own. I'm gonna ask everybody to go outside. Uh, bring your, your phone. Bring a sketchbook, uh, bring a pencil, paper, whatever is easy and just like go on at least on an hour walk uh, and try to come back with ideas of like um, beauty around you that uh, any elements that brings life Something I suggest you guys to do if you have some tracing paper at home or if you have any uh, cooking sheet. So here I use a cooking sheet for cookie. <laughs> I will trace all the elements of my designs on it. So uh, I don't trace directly on my paper just in case um, I don't like what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna study all the composition and do it here first. And then uh, when I'm ready, uh, with my design. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, put it upside down. Uh, the way to transfer it is like once it's uh, on your paper, everywhere uh, you put some pencils where you flipped it, it's gonna transfer on your paper. I don't know if you see the little line here. So it's a way you can trace and be safer um, and not waste some paper. So you see, uh, now what I did, I flipped uh, my designs uh, that I draw on the cooking sheet. I taped it really well, <laughs> as you can see. Um, and uh, right now, everywhere I put some um, some lines. Uh, I'm gonna press really hard, like this. And everywhere there's pencil, it's gonna actually transfer on my white paper. Now I trace it, and then um, when I'm gonna remove the paper, it should be like a really light there. But then I could come and refine like the details. Like now I could add like a little here and 
do it like like I want it to be. Okay, so for my uh, my little berries, uh, my blossom, I decide to use uh, raspberries because um, when I went on my inspiration walk, I saw so many um, raspberry bushes. I thought it would be great to see a pair with raspberries. Uh, so I decided that my bear is gonna blossom into the bush uh, around here and into raspberries. And I put uh, some little island here and there's gonna be some little water. So I'm just gonna take a little closer shot so you can see um, like the background colors. I've tried some different berries colors, uh, colors for the leaves. Um, this is my my homemade one, uh, made with green tea. Uh, this is a little like testing of a type of black I could do maybe for the bear. I mix brown and blue and some shading of colors. So this way, when you do it on a paper, you could see the colors that match or don't match. And if you figure out beside before, it's gonna be a more pleasing experience after on the paper. Uh, because sometimes it happens when you, you add a color and then when you you paint it water, with watercolor, you don't like it and it's harder to fix. So I encourage you to like just have this piece of paper beside where you can test your blending and color and then it's gonna be um, easier after when you paint your main project. I'm using a uh, camion red and I'm trying to create the raspberry colors by la glazing and like layering different colors. Now I'm gonna try, it's, it's a watercolor I made myself. I mix honey and matcha tea, uh, green tea. So um, I really like this green, so I'm gonna use this green for the raspberries. I love drawing, so sometimes I use mix techniques and I just come here doing a tiny shadow. You can do it with the paint, you can do it with a marker. I just want them to look more bubbly.
so when it's time to remove the painter's tape, um, it's really important to go really, really, really slowly. Um, sometimes it tends to um, to rip the paper if you go too fast. So just take your time, and um, if you go really um, slowly, the it's gonna remain really smooth. And if you go too fast, it may take away some of the paper. You know, I want to share to every youth or every person that is watching or doing this challenge. When you trust yourself, you can really have a strong impact um, in this world. And you know, it's one thing to do art on a paper, but there's something so powerful when you can make art every day. Just like every opportunity you have, like if you want to be a painter, draw, 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 paint every day, learn. We we never stop learning, and and it's um it's good to keep this um, this curiosity. So thanks for being with me today, and I'm really looking forward to see all your beautiful uh, creation. Thank you.